Join me today as I take a trip on the motorcycle outside of Chiang Mai on the Samung Loop. I want to show you a temple to visit at sunrise, the beautiful mountain roads, views over those beautiful mountains and this stunning waterfall. Let's get on the motorbike and let's go. Can you see the temple up there on the hill? That is our first stop. We made it to our first stop, Wat Prathat Doi Kam. And the first thing you're greeted by is this giant statue of Buddha. The other thing you're greeted by is a lot of people. It is busy today. It's the first Saturday after Buddhism Day, national holiday here in Thailand. So I guess a lot of people are coming out to visit that. And I am slightly later than expected. It is 9.30. I did want to come for sunrise, but yeah. When you have anxiety, sometimes it takes a bit longer to get out of the house than you expect, but that's not the point. We're here. Let's have a look around this beautiful temple which overlooks Chiang Mai. I don't think I have ever seen a statue of Buddha so big. I'm sure there's bigger in Thailand. In fact, I'm almost certain there's bigger in Thailand. But for me, this is the biggest one I've seen. But I think if we go through to the other side, the view is going to be even better. So I think you come to this temple for two reasons, and that's why I stopped here first. First of all, it is a beautiful temple. You have three lovely statues of Buddha, one in a reclining position, the second one standing with its palm facing out towards the city, and the largest one at the entrance. But the other reason to come here, and especially early in the morning, is the view. The view is spectacular and you can see over Chiang Mai city and all of the surrounding areas. This is actually the direction that the sun rises in the morning, so if you can get here early, I imagine you'll have an incredible sunrise to see. But yeah, we didn't manage that today. <laughs> But despite the fact that we didn't make it for sunrise, it is a beautiful spot with great views over the city. And it is busy with Thai people who come here to look at the temple and pray, of course, but also to take photos over this beautiful view. Okay, as nice as that was, this is not a temple video. So let's jump back on the bike and get onto the Samung Loop proper. So I enjoyed that, but Today was about getting away from people and getting away from the city and into a bit of nature, not to come to a crowded temple with traffic guys blowing whistles every two seconds. So I'm looking forward to getting onto the Samoan Loop and getting away from this. All right, looks like we're starting to find more forested jungly area. Now we're onto the main loop. I think it's still a, not a busy road, but cars do pass by it, but maybe that will filter out as we get further along the loop. But it, I mean, it states the obvious, but if it's a loop, you have two ways to get around it, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. I've chosen to go clockwise around the loop. I think most people go anti-clockwise, uh, which means you leave Chiang Mai from the north, but I've left it from the south. I wanted to enjoy the ride, on the first half so I came this way if you want to do the stops first go the other way and enjoy the ride on the way home uh, I don't think it makes too much difference you're on the loop it's a beautiful place to ride there's some nice stops just do whichever suits you <laughs> given that this is the ride half of the loop I'll play some music and uh, yeah enjoy the views I'll enjoy the ride and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the views if we see something interesting we'll stop but if not I'll see you at the next stop. Ah, 
Ah, you got the rice paddies over here. That is one of the sights I missed about riding around Asia, seeing all the rice paddies. I said I'd only stop if I found something interesting, and as I'm riding around the roads here, just at the top of this hill is a temple called Wat Pra Tat Si Mwang Pong. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, uh, but I don't think I'll go up there. I just wanted to stop and show you, get the drone out and see what it looks like. That's the benefit of having the drone. I don't need to necessarily go up there. Uh, but yeah, it looked cool on the roads. Maybe it's somewhere you would like to stop on this trip. I'm gonna get back on the bike and carry on on the ride. Oh man, just a quick stop for water, but it started off cloudy. Now the sun's coming out, it is hot. So last time I came on the bike, I got horribly burnt. So now I've got this undertop and this dog definitely isn't a fan of me. It's a tiny, tiny dog, but pretty good guard dog, I'd say. Anyway, this, uh, this ride is a lot of fun. Are you finished? And now you've got a mate barking too. Uh, but yes, just st stopping in this little village next to a little banana plantation. Got the lady cutting the leaves down. Got a lovely temple here and just a view of the jungle covered hills. I know it's only a short distance from Chiang Mai. It's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere and remote, but I've wanted to use this day to test coming out on the bike, just seeing how it felt and building a little confidence. Uh, but it's definitely more fun than I expected it to be. You are ruining this video, my friend. Let's see <laughs> if he's friendly enough for me to go and make friends with him. Ah, not, so, not so brave now, are you? Oh, your mates come out. Well. Now they both come out. I've got two of them on me now. Luckily they're only tiny, I can cope with them. But if it was a big dog, I'd be back on that bike and straight up that hill as fast as I could. Right, let's leave these ferocious dogs behind. Get going again. It's definitely quieter. Now we're further into the loop. I mean, there are a few cars and there's definitely some motorcycles, but it's not like it was near, near the start. So the plan now is to drive to the top of this hill and uh, there's a place called the Samung Viewpoint. Oh, we found the truck again. Let's go for it, even though it's on the corner, a bit dangerous. Right, we cleared it. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a viewpoint over the hills at the top of this hill. That's going to be our next stop. But for now, just enjoy the ride. view over here to the left is starting to look pretty special. Maybe we're getting near the viewpoint. Feels like we're getting to the top of the hill, so it can't be that far away. Oh, but if not, we're definitely stopping. This is the viewpoint. Right, we have made it to the Samung Forest Viewpoint. It's not much in terms of a place, it's just a small pavilion and two signs, but the view, what a view, over the peaked mountains covered in forest. Yes, it is cloudy, but I think the clouds add something to the landscape as well. Uh, 
and yeah, it's just somewhere you stop on this trip and relax and enjoy the view. Let's have a look from the pavilion whilst we're here. Frames it quite nicely. Just look at that. Thinking about it, I should have brought some snacks and I recommend that maybe you bring some snacks and definitely bring some water. There are no 7-Elevens out here and once you get away from the start of the loop, and I presume it's the same on the other side, there isn't really much. When no cars or bikes are driving past, it is peaceful here, but unfortunately it is on the road, so every few minutes a car or motorcycle does come past. It's just after midday, so it is lunchtime, so that means I need to go and find food and coffee because I'm getting hungry, I didn't have breakfast. So let's jump back on the bike, carry on a bit further and find some coffee and lunch. And then after coffee and lunch, we're gonna go and try and find a waterfall, which I may or may not swim at. So carry on watching to find out. Okay, I think we're down here. If this place is good, I will leave the link in the description. So look out for that because <laughs> I can do my best to describe it here, but you're probably not going to find it. But I will leave the Google Map link. But let's see. That looks like it just down here. See if they welcome me as a Ferran with a camera. Okay, leave the helmet out here, I think. I think it'll be safe. Let's go get some cow soy. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับเค้าสวยไกด์ครับขอบคุณครับ I can sit through here ขอบคุณครับ Very very basic but <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Actually, I might sit on the other side. Looks like the view is a bit nicer. I'm going to sit this side. <laughs> I've found my cow soy noodles and I'm not even going to be able to tell you the name of this place but it is in a little town called Pongyang it's on the way it's on the loop it's just off the main road as I said on the ride I will leave the link in the description they smell amazing and they look good too actually um, the place is a bit basic but who cares if the food is good um, they do serve other things the table next to me has ordered some other dishes, but to be honest, I didn't know there is no menu. And ordering khao soy gai is just an easy, an easy option. And I'm in Chiang Mai after all, so you cannot get enough khao soy. I think as ever, try the sauce on its own first. Who knows how spicy it's gonna be in this place to see what it needs before adding the condiments. They have all the normal condiments here. Okay, it's got a nice kick to it. So not too much to add, but I will add some of this chili paste, which which I forget the name of in Thai. So let's get some of that in it. Not too much, otherwise the ride home will not be fun. And I don't know whether you're meant to or not, but 
I really love this chili vinegar. So get a bit of that in there too. Really like acidity in my food. And when it comes with a bit of spice, all the better. Okay. Squeeze of lime. A few onions. Pickle mustard greens. And we're ready to mix. There's two pieces of chicken in this one. Normally only get one. Look how good this looks. Mm. Wow. Very creamy, very rich. The egg noodles are great. Good level of spice, especially after I added the chili. Chicken is tender with great flavour. Again, I'm going to keep going on about how good chicken tastes over here. I don't know the price yet, but fantastic bowl of cow soy. And a place I recommend stopping, a very easy stop on the Samung Loop. Mm. The link will definitely be in the description. This is turning out to be a really nice trip um, from Chiang Mai and if you're not stopping and filming like me, putting the drone up and taking all these shots, it's probably a half day trip. Um, <clears throat> so either pick the morning or the afternoon, you get sunset or sunrise in there too. But yeah, the ride is super fun and I'm really enjoying that just being out on some open roads and riding around them. I know those of you who've probably ridden a lot more in Northern Thailand, and remember this is the start of my trip, you're probably just gonna tell me it's a one out of 10 road. But hey, not everything has to be the best to be enjoyable or to be worth it. And it's definitely worth doing this loop. It's fun. You don't have to stop at every place, just get out of the city and enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, and enjoy this bowl of cow soy. The chicken has so much flavor and is so tender. Sometimes in some of the, well, not so good cow soys, chicken is maybe a touch tough, um, but that can also be from the chicken, right? It's not, um, <laughs> it's, it's bred outside and not bred necessarily for its tenderness, but this one, they must cook it for so long in that pot uh, that it just falls off the bone. Okay, let's go find out how much this bowl of cow soy costs. Talai cup. Kokken cup. Very good, Aroi Mak. Just 50 baht for the bowl of cow soy. Very happy with that. Uh, <laughs> never, never worried about paying for good food, so... Yeah, now we're gonna go find some coffee. I need coffee, I haven't had coffee today. And I think there's a place just around the corner that we can stop at. coffee in hand and uh, they come in these cool cups they're weighted so they spin around on a wooden tray it looks like a very nice coffee shop I haven't tasted the coffee yet I used to drink a lot of coffee and then a few months ago I gave it up and it's been about two or three months without coffee and I haven't started drinking it properly again maybe I've been having once a week so now when I have one I'm getting a proper buzz from coffee so uh, look, I drove one today so we're going to stop off, but if I go a bit crazy for the rest of the video, you know why. 
smells good. Very, very light and very easy on the palate. It's a bean and I took a photo because I'm not gonna remember. Uh, it's a bean called Jom Tong. It's local to Chiang Mai and apparently the flavor profile is floral, winey dated plum, orange and brown sugar. I get the brown sugar. And I get a bit of the dated plum. I'm not sure I get the orange, but maybe that's the acidity coming through on it. Very nice coffee, very nice place. The people here are super friendly. They speak enough English to get along and have some questions with them. Uh, so yeah, another place to stop when you're riding on the Samung Loop. And the places are close. They're great options to stop off if you're hitting this part around lunchtime or you just want an afternoon snack. Check out the Bosco Coffee and the unnamed Khao Soi restaurant that we stopped at. There's actually much more to do on this loop than what I'm doing. I'm riding it, that was my prime prime reason to do it because I like a good ride. <laughs> uh, let's try that one again. Riding was my prime motivation to come on this loop because I enjoy riding the motorcycle. However, there's waterfalls which we're going to stop at one of them but there's more than one waterfall. There's an orchid garden, there's the Queen Sycorit Botanical Gardens, there are more viewpoints, there's uh, organic farms. You can choose what interests you and stop where you want and build the Samung loop how you want it to be. I just wanted it to be a chilled day on the motorcycle, making a few stops, drink some nice coffee and share it with you. Refueled after food and coffee, feeling good again, let's get back on the bike and go check out this waterfall. A bit more built up at this end, the second half of the clockwise loop. I mean, it's still, still not a city, but there's definitely more cars, more buildings more touristy things that's what I mean by saying more of the things to do were on this side cab. one person and one bike 120 Okay, we got our ticket. 120 baht, 100 for me and 20 for the bike. I did notice it's only 20 for the locals, so a bit of a premium on being a Farang. Now, this place has 10 levels and three car parks. I did read that the first three levels aren't really worth seeing. So I think we'll go to the third car park, which is near level number four. Just park up here. So entrance is here, first car park, second car park, and third car park. This is where we are now. I'll walk up the path on the way to the top. Oh man, suddenly away from the road, away from the traffic, and we are right into nature. The sounds, the sights, the insects, the birds. Well, I will say it's slippy. You need <laughs> you need proper trainers. Otherwise, you're going to end up on your butt. But man, it's beautiful. Again, maybe not the best waterfall system you've ever seen. But come on, who can complain at this? It's reassuring when you see warning of a flash flood. Rapid 
water levels. Don't know what that means. I guess it means rising. Water becomes brown. Well, it is brown. Unusual loudness from upstream. Don't have that. Think we're safe. I read that you can swim here, which is why earlier I said I'm not sure whether I'm going to swim or not. And then when I was reading about it, it said level five is the best level for swimming. Well, I don't know about you, but there's no chance I'm getting in that. Surprisingly, this place is very well pathed. It's very clear, very nice, very easy to walk. There's bathrooms. Okay, uh, <laughs> I need to do something for the 100 baht entrance fee. But I would call it a very easy hike. So don't worry if hiking isn't your thing. It's more like a walk than a hike. This is definitely one of the perks to be here in rainy season. One, everywhere is so green and so lush, which is very pretty in itself. But the waterfalls are full of water and you actually get to see them with awe-inspiring power. Something you wouldn't get if you were here when it was perfect weather and sunny all the time. So if you're worried about coming in rainy season, don't. It's really not that much of an issue. And you get to see beautiful things just like this. This is why I love solo travel. You come on your own, but you meet awesome people along the way, like Shandy and Amy here. Hi. We're just walking up the waterfall and stop to say hi. So, hello, hello, hello. everyone. <laughs> And to think, this morning, I didn't want to leave the room. I thought the highlight of this Samung loop would be the motorcycle ride, but actually I was wrong. This place is definitely the highlight of the loop, so don't miss this one when you come here. And if you're here in rainy season, all the better. It's really, it's really beautiful. Anyway, that will be the end of the video. I'm going to enjoy this place a bit more. I will save you the ride back. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from them. I'll see you in the next video.